see, see him push up to the top? I think he's going now. Push, push, push. Everybody root him on. Push. Yes, like an accordion. Push, push. See the black, see his little spikes starting to collect up at the top? Do you see that? They're starting to bunch up there. Here he goes. Two minutes, two minutes. He, he's in the process now. He'll probably be have his, out of his skin by about seven. Here he goes. See how he looks all slick now? There's no more little wrinkles. What a good little caterpillar. He did just what I told him to do. Seven o'clock. He's got two minutes. Pretty awesome, huh? Watch his head come off. <laughs> his head goes up, too. He won't have a head anymore. One minute. Of course, he's in the process now, so he didn't make a liar out of me. So you see where it's kind of split there? If you're looking, see it's kind of white and the skin is really translucent now. I think you can kind of see it where it's like you could see through his skin now. Well, Jay's seen this hundreds of times, too, and she'll get to see it again. Well, you know what? The best way to watch it is on the screen because it's so tiny. So I'm getting the best view along with you because I can see it, you know, in, in front of me and then on the screen and it, you just don't get the detail in front of you at all. Now, remember when his feet were on the right-hand side, his feet are now on the left-hand side when it comes out as a butterfly. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember. No, maybe when he's a chrysalis. You know what? I'm forgetting a lot of things, but I think they do come out opposite. Okay, now you're going to see them. And don't take my word on that because now I can't remember. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, no, I'm right. I'm absolutely right. His feet now are on the left-hand side when he comes out. You see those little dots over there? And his wings are there on the right-hand side. His face will end up being on the left-hand side. Okay, he'll start going around in a circle. He'll circle to the left and he'll circle to the right and to get the skin off at the top. That'll be the next step. You'll see him go round and round and round till he gets it to fall off once he gets it all the way up. Oh, there, yeah. Well, hopefully down the line I'll get the lighting a little better and Okay, he's starting, he's going to start circling here in a minute, see? He's going to, he hasn't started yet because he's still pushing it up. Isn't it cute? I mean, it's so amazing. It's 
Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, let's see if it'll come loose. Sometime, okay, he's starting, he's going to start going around in circles here. And hopefully it'll fall off. And I won't have to take it off. I'll give him a little bit of time and see if he can get it off. does look up like it's hanging a little. No, I think he's going to get it off. I'm watching him and in down looking down at it because I have this down on the floor. I think he's going to be able to get that skin off. Maybe not, though. There's cat hair in it. I can see the cat hair. <laughs> oh, but we'll see. He'll stop fighting it. See how I turn the other way now? He's trying to get that skin to cut, fall off. And then he'll spin the other way. He'll go this way, and then he'll turn the other way. Let's see if he gets that off. Mm, maybe not. I may have to get the tweezers. I help him out. Though, it doesn't even have to come off I, outside. They do just fine. If I see it still attached, I pull it off usually when I'm outside and I see one that still has it attached, but it doesn't cause any problem. Uh, I don't know where I put the tweezers. I haven't had to do this in so long. Well, he's almost got it. I think he's going to get it off. Let's see here. Yeah, it's almost ready to come off. So let me give him a little help if I can. Oh, wait, it's almost off. I got it. There we go. I took it off. Oh, Kiwi's not here. Should I send her tons of these skins? But within an hour or two, it'll be hard. And then what it does, which I never knew, is that's why I said I, I turn it off at night because you're just staring at something that's not moving anyways. When the light goes off, even with the caterpillars at night, they stop moving and they stop eating everything. Okay, the chrysalis, which we have watched with all the other ones I've done before, this is now a chrysalis they move to the light like they will turn they will bend towards the light and then bend away and then when it gets to be nighttime they all hang down straight 